We've made uh, tremendous advances in consumer electronics devices to date, but the battery is really holding back the performance that we should be getting from those. And NOX has got the technology to solve the problem. Developing a scalable, advanced battery is a complex three-phase process. Phase one is core technology development and cell design. Phase two is manufacturing process development. This is where most companies fail. Phase three is process validation and production. Companies that make it to this phase are poised for commercialization. So how did we do it? First, a quick history lesson on how we got here. In 1977, Stanley Whittingham developed an innovative cathode that enabled the first rechargeable lithium battery. In 1991, Sony produced the first lithium ion battery using a process similar to the magnetic recording tape and audio cassettes. Long anode, cathode, and separator strips are wound together. Cells are packaged in a metal can or hermetically sealed polymer pouch, and the pouch is filled with electrolyte, an organic liquid through which the lithium ions travel back and forth between the cell's anode and cathode. During charging, the lithium ions move from cathode, the positive electrode, flow through tiny holes in the separator, and into the anode, the negative electrode. And this process is reversed when the cell is discharged. Because lithium-ion battery architecture hasn't changed much in the last 30 years, it was primed for disruption. Most lithium-ion batteries use a conventional graphite anode with a theoretical specific capacity of 372 milliamp hours per gram. A silicon anode significantly increases the ratio of lithium to silicon bonding, giving it a theoretical specific capacity of 3,579 milliamp hours per gram, which is over nine times that of graphite. What makes this massive increase in energy possible is our novel three-dimensional cell architecture. Cathodes, anodes, and separators are precisely laser patterned and stacked side by side. This allows for more efficient use of the battery's volume, which improves its overall energy density. Our 3D cell architecture is also well-suited to accommodate silicon as the only active lithium cycling material in the anode and capitalize on the higher energy density it provides. A conventional lithium ion battery can't practically accommodate a 100% active silicon anode because they expand significantly during charging, creating high pressure within the battery. This pressure acts on the large face of the battery and would require a constraining force as large as 1.7 tons to keep the anode from expanding. The Inovix 3D cell architecture can accommodate a 100% active silicon anode, which requires only 210 pound force to restrain the anode. We use this constraint system to surround the cell and limit the battery from swelling and growing in size. The constraint keeps the anode and cathode materials under compression maintaining optimum particle-to-particle -particle connection. This has enabled us to achieve over 500 full depth of discharge cycle life with less than 2% swelling. Enovix technology is highly differentiated across all the performance metrics that matter, including energy density, capacity, thermal performance, cycle time, charge time, and safety. And we're just getting started. We have significant headroom beyond today's products to increase the performance metrics further and expand our lead.